lot of bad stuff been going on, bro. I just don't be telling y'all about it. I, you feel me? I don't be saying nothing about it because I ain't no, I ain't no person that like telling everybody my business. But bro, I ain't a lot, a lot of stuff ain't been going good for me, bro. This call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Hey, Caleb. This is Mary. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing um, all right, you know. I know, yeah. Um, well, do you have a few minutes to speak? Oh, yes, I do. About yesterday? Yeah, about yesterday? Okay. Um, I do have some bad news. Um, you know, we basically took um, everything you said. We also took, you know, the witnesses, the witness statements. Um, and we, you know, looked further into the matter. Um, and the guidance that we have been given is that as According to the lease, we have to follow through with what the lease states, which does mean that, that the dog would have to vacate immediately. All right. Um, I, all right. I'm going to yeah, I'm going to be. Then, okay, thank you. And we'll be sending you an email just to um, just for our conversation about what we just discussed once CJ has vacated. All right. Okay, I'm so sorry, Caleb, and um, thank you for taking. Bro, get off my phone, bro. Uh, something crazy happened yesterday, man. I just woke up literally out of the bed. Um, my apartment complex they called me. Oh, this why, like, I should, I should just got a house, bro. I don't have to be around people. None of this would ever happen. Me and my, my dog then engaged with him and his dog before we tried to see if they could be actually friends. His dog was going crazy at CJ and obviously if a dog going crazy at CJ, CJ started just barking back because he's just mimicking the other dog, you know. Um, so that's what happened the first time I ever met the man and his dog. And um, so that day we knew that our dogs would never be good together, you know what I'm saying? But yesterday, um, you know, I saw that he was coming my way. Bro, first thing I do is try to turn and go to the right and just go up the hill and try to go on the other side of the apartment building. As I tried to do that, I see the man still coming, like faster, like his dog trying to come down the hill faster. Bro. I make it up the hill, boom. CJ Holler, like, break a loose. Like, bro, I don't know. This is, like, the most craziest thing, bro. I promise, like, usually if CJ Leash, if if he's trying to take it off, he'll be doing like this and it'll, like, come up. Bro, I promise you, bro, I just tied his leash. I mean, his collar the other day. Like, I know his collar was tight and everything. Bro, I promise you, I kid you not, his collar just, pew, pew, it snaps off or whatever happens. My first instinct, do not run at CJ trying to get him. Because, bro, me knowing CJ, me knowing any dog, bro, just being around dogs, like, your dog, if you run after them, bro, they're going to think you playing. Because they, especially my dog, he know he off the leash at this point. So I'm, I'm trying to do everything in my power. Like, CJ, CJ, like, I'm trying to, bro, I'm trying to, like, hey, I'm making noise. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to run away and like I'm, like, for he can run towards me or something. Like, I don't want to just go towards him because I know he going to just shoot out a run. So I try to do that. I kind of get him a little bit, bro, he smell, he look, the, tell me why the man and his dog right there, it's like, bro, just get, like, the man could have gave me, a, like, time, bro, just to be able to get out the way before he came down there, bro, it's like, as soon as I almost had CJ attention, he smelt the air, and dogs have strong scents, they can smell other dogs, bro, shoot, he shot towards the dog, bro. Bro, when I tell you, I started running. I'm talking about do, 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 do. CJ get to his dog. They just, he just standing like this at first. Bro, that man dog lunched at CJ, bro. Him and CJ got into it. I'm talking about big fight, bro. The dog and CJ was just going at it, bro. So I run, I finally get back up. I run. I grab CJ, bro. I'm trying to get CJ off. I'm trying to, bro. The, it's just... Both of these dogs are strong, bro, and CJ is very strong. So it's like it was hard getting them. I finally, I finally grabbed CJ, man. Finally, bro. The man, I'm talking about, I finally grabbed CJ and turned, bro. The man drops his leash of his dog, bro, 
and his dog keep coming at me and CJ. So at this point, it's like, what can I do, bro? I didn't got my dog. My dog don't have a collar on or a leash on. I can't just grab him, bro. Your dog have a whole harness on. Mind you, he got a whole nother small dog with him at this time. He drop his leash. He picks up his small dog, bro. His dog come back, knock me, not CJ out my hand trying to attack CJ again. I fall on the ground. The only thing I can do is just grab his dog because I'm on, I'm on the ground, bro. His dog on top of me at this point. I grab his dog trying to stop his dog, bro. This man yelling at me, grab your dog, grab your dog. Bro, how? Your dog on top of me. I got your dog. At least try to get my dog, bro. I'm not going to say no dog with everybody, anybody. But, bro, CJ, that man has no intention of buying no human, bro. Now, another dog, bro, he may get into it with because obviously yesterday he did. But, bro, my dog would not just bite a person, bro. So, bro, he wouldn't get his dog, bro. I had to let his dog go. I had to finally get my dog again. I had to carry CJ to another side and fall on him, bro. The man still was right there. Like, the whole time, bro. The man still standing there. It's like, it's like he wanted it to happen, bro. The man did not want to grab his dog, bro. I know it was an injury that occurred with him. I don't, bro... My dog probably didn't even bite this man, bro. His dog probably bit him. As you just heard, my apartment people said it was an injury that occurred, so they didn't even say that my dog did it, bro. Whole time, his dog could have bit him. He's trying to grab his dog, and he wasn't grabbing the dog the right way. Every Everybody know, and everybody should know, you should watch videos on how to break up a dog fight, because, bro, you never know if your dog may get in a dog fight. All I could do in that moment is pray and try to get my dog. And I was trying... And even if he didn't want it to happen, bro, he didn't he didn't take every precaution to grab his dog and just keep moving or try to or try to pull his dog away. Like, bro, if you know I don't have a collar on my dog at this point, at least grab your dog and just go. Why are you trying to stay here and trying to just wait to see if I got full control of my dog? Bro, go get your dog and go. Bro, my dog wasn't going to attack because he don't attack. Like, he'll probably go up to a dog and just do a little standoff little thing because my dog is a three-year-old male, bro. Everybody know, and he's an alpha dog, bro. I can't lose my dog, bro. That's that's the thing. Like, I can't lose my dog, bro. Like, I didn't had this man since five weeks, bro. CJ, man. Bro, five weeks, bro. You're three years old. You literally just turned three two months ago. Not even two months ago, bro. You just turned three a month and a half ago or something like, bro, CJ, bro, you messed up this time, bro. You should have just came back to me when I called you, bro. Out of all the times you had to be stubborn, CJ, you didn't have to be stubborn this time, bro. You could have came back. I know you just wanted to play and stuff, but CJ, bro, you can't do that, bro, especially with all these dogs out here. Nah, bro, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, bro. Bro, I don't even know, bro. The only hope I got is my parents, bro. And that's if they want to have the responsibility to take care of you for these nine months. But bro, I don't even know, man. I don't trust nobody with you. Bro, what? bro you done put me in a bad situation, CJ. Like, CJ, I, I, don't even, I, I can't even save you right now, bro. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what to do, CJ. I hope I ain't got to get rid of you for good. I hope that you could just stay at my folks' crib. I don't know what to do. Other than obviously, I got to get rid of my dog, bro. I'm picking up the camera again. Look at this guy. He's so good, man. He's a good boy, y'all. He don't... He don't have no bad intentions. He don't mean no harm, bro. You know, things just happen that aren't supposed to happen sometimes, man. Or they're supposed to happen for whatever reason. I don't know. Only God knows. I ain't going to be able to have CJ up here with me no more. Um, but I can't really do nothing about it, man. This these people um, establishment, you know, and when they say stuff, it goes. <laughs> That's how America works, you know. I can't do nothing about it. I can't even really fight it too much because, like, my dog was off the leash, you know, and I'm I'm not saying that I don't understand that part, but it's just like, bro, it was out of control. Like, I couldn't do nothing about it and stuff and all that. But, you know, you live and you learn, man. Um, I'm definitely learning from this. 
And I pray that that man don't try to do no weird stuff, um, trying to sue me or nothing like that, bro. I'm going to be talking to lawyers um, in a minute. I'm going to call my lawyer, try to just tell him the story, what happened um, and everything, because I already know. Bro, this man called an ambulance yesterday off of that little injury with his hand. I don't know. Like, why would you call an ambulance, bro? Just take yourself to urgent care if it was that bad or whatever. If this man do try some weird stuff, I already be prepared. Um, for CJ, as y'all know, man, y'all know him on the channel, bro. CJ, he he got his own TikTok. Man, he been he got viral videos on here. We got his first sponsorship, you know what I'm saying? On here and everything. So, like, give me a paw. Uh-uh, sit. Give me a paw. Good boy. Man. We gonna, I don't know y'all, we gonna, um, we gonna have to live without CJ for a little bit, um, it's gonna be probably for about nine months, I'm not gonna be able to have CJ, um, but it ain't forever, man, that's, that's, I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying, to not have to get rid of him completely, bro, because if he would have had to go to, like, a shelter or something like that, bro, I would have been broken, like, yeah, I would have been through <laughs> I probably wouldn't even be making this video right now. But uh, thank God for my parents, bro. They going to let him come there and stay. Uh, so it's like four hours away. So I'll be able to still see CJ, just not like every day, obviously. Um, I'm going to try to go see him at least like once a month if I can. Uh, it depends on how busy my schedule is. But I'm going to miss my boy, bro. Y'all don't understand, man. I done had this man since five weeks, bro. Like, he was little, bro. Like, Y'all know, bro. If you've been watching me, bro, you know, like, I done had CJ forever, bro. And, um, and I'm going to miss my boy. You know, like, I'm going to miss him just not being with me, man. That's really all it is, like. But the people say he got to leave, bro. These his bite marks, too, from yesterday. Like, when he got into the little scuffle with the dog. It's not terrible. Uh, he got bit right here. He got bit a couple times, like right here. And he got bit a couple times on his face on the side. He ain't really trying to let y'all see, but it's common sense. Like, don't put your hand in neither one of the dogs' way when they're both going at each other. It's common sense to always grab a dog from the back, you know what I'm saying, and try to break him up that way. I don't know what he was doing. I was just trying to get my dog, and I did get my dog. I don't care. If my dog is a big, strong dog, whatever, like if a, if somebody run up on me with their dog, bro, I'm not finna just let my dog fight the dog. I don't care if the dog, if my dog winning, like I don't wanna see my dog fighting another person's dog, bro. It's it's either 24 hours and I have to get CJ off the property or they'll terminate um, my lease basically or something like that. And bro, I can't have that happen right now cause I don't got nowhere to go, you know what I'm saying? Like this is where I live. <laughs> So, CJ, you in the camera, bro. You know that, right? Well, but yeah, man, you know these dogs already got a bad rep and everything, man. But I just want y'all to know, bro, CJ not that dog, bro. I never raised him to be a mean dog or none of that. Like, bro, it's never, it's never that I want him to do any of that bad stuff, you know? Um. So, yeah, bro. It's just a life learning experience, you know. This may be my last year even living in an apartment, bro. Like, I, I supposed to have a house anyways. It was my fault. I played. I didn't look for one in time enough. And I had to come to this place of living because this was the only option at the time. Um, but, yeah, I wish I would have just got a house because I wouldn't have as many neighbors like I do with dogs. And I wouldn't have to worry about, like, all that crap. But... This is a lesson, you know, and I'm trying to process it and learn it. CJ, what are you doing? Got camera. Come on. But yeah, I'm trying to learn, you know, whatever God. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> whatever God telling me in this. Hit a man right here. Here he go right here. Oh, crap. Here he go right here. Dang. That's him right there. Bro, y'all can't even see. I literally, I'm, I just now saw the man walking by with his dog, bro. Like, no cap. Bro, 
this is weird. Like, dang, bro, this is crazy. I'm talking about the situation. The man right here. That's crazy to me. Yeah, he gonna go to my parents' crib. Uh, the only thing my parents were saying, like, I gotta get him, like, an invisible fence for he gonna be going out the yard. Because even though it's, it's 16 acres, like, you know, it's other dogs down the road. And once he get comfortable, CJ may want to go outside the yard and stuff. And they just don't want those type of problems. So, as y'all can see, got most of all CJ stuff packed up, ready to go. He ready to go. <laughs> You ready to go, bro? Yeah, you ready to go. But he don't understand that once he leave this time, like, he never coming back, like, ever. He don't know that, though, but, I mean, things happen, you feel me? Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm sad, bro, because, I man, I don't miss my dog being here, bro. Like, when my girl be gone, you feel me, and it just be me and my boy, like, he be get me through sometimes, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna miss my boy, bro. But he can't be here no longer. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. I just had to come to realization, like, bro, it ain't nothing I can do about it for, you know, even if I tried, like, which is I kind of did, but it ain't nothing I can do about this, bro. My lips are ashy, aren't they? All right. But yeah, man, CJ, say get back to the apartment, bro. You weren't here that long until you got kicked out, but come on, say goodbye to the apartment, bro. Come on, let's go. Come on, bro. Say goodbye. He don't even care, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. He really an outside dog anyway. Like, he like, he love outdoors way more than he like inside. Like, he only like being inside at nighttime. If he could stay outside all day, bro, he would, you know? That's just the type of uh, type of dog he is. Like he love chasing rabbits, squirrels, and he love outdoor stuff. So it's gonna be actually, you know, good thing. It's gonna be a good thing also that he out there, you know, with my parents in the country, cause he get to actually just do what dogs do or wanna do, especially his breed. And that's like hunt stuff and just run free. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't gonna have as much freedom, cause I ain't gonna be there playing with him all the time, but. Whatever my parents can play with him and stuff, they they probably will. I know. I just need to be able to go see him whenever I want to and have that, and have the knowledge in my head that okay, I got my dog still. And after these, what you crying about, bro? I know, man. I know, bro. Chill out. Now, after these couple months over with, you know, it's more than a couple, but after these like nine months probably that I'm gonna be staying here, I'm done with this place. I'm leaving, bro. I'm going to get me a crib, so. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was a lot, y'all. Trying to get all that stuff, man. But I got everything, man. I put some stuff back here. Some stuff in the trunk. That's my boy CJ, man, y'all. Let me crank up this car, bro. We can get ready to ride. How you feeling, CJ? You got kicked out the apartment, bro. You got kicked out, bro. You like a bad kid at school, like... You literally fighting at school, bro. They said you fighting at home. And I was there to witness it. But I ain't gonna lie, it's not like you really wanted to get in the fight. It's just like, that dog, bro, he went, hey, that dog wanted to fight you. At least she ain't get beat up, though. I just playing. They ain't, they ain't nothing to play about, really, but. Y'all, man, man, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not finna, you know, I'm playing about it, cuz, bro, I can't keep sitting here morning and like just being sad bro like i ain't gonna lie it's it's, it's been too much too much going on in my life like that's bad you know what i'm saying and it's probably just lessons you know that i gotta learn but i don't know a lot of bad stuff been going on bro i just don't be telling y'all about it I, you feel me i don't be saying nothing about it because i ain't no i ain't no person that like telling everybody my business but bro, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of stuff ain't been going good for me bro like seriously but it's life, man. You got to go through stuff. You got to get through stuff. You feel me? And God made us rich. That's why we rich out God. So, it ain't nothing to complain about. But he already sent his son Jesus to die for all our sins, bro. So, how I'm going to complain when Jesus came and died for us, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I'm looking at it. But, I mean, I just got to deal with not having my boil pill with me for nine months. Uh, yeah, bro. I pray these nine months go by kind of fast. I don't know, man. 
I'm ready to, you know, spend time with my boy again. I already feel hurt, bro. Not, not going on walks with him, not going on hikes with him. You feel me? Like, y'all don't understand how close me and my boy CJ Bond is. Like, y'all, like, when you get a dog, bro, like, of course it's an animal, but at the same time, bro, you, you really build a bond with your animal, bro. And, like, when they say a dog is a man best friend, bro, that's facts, bro. Like, I'm really really best friends with my dog bro like i ain't gonna lie, i spoiled him too much probably like but that's the way that i i treated him you know i always treated him good i always gave him you know better than just the regular dog should have uh and now these next couple months he gonna have to deal with not getting all that so he may be a little depressed a little bit i'm gonna talk to my mom and dad you know make sure they at least give them, well, they gonna give us some time, but they be busy though, bro. Like they got their own businesses to run, and I already know that. But it's like they the only ones that I know that can keep him, and I can still come see him whenever I want and all that. And I know that he gonna be good if he right there. So he just probably won't be getting the attention that I give him. But you know, him being there is better than him being with a random person that I don't know, and I don't even know if I'll be able to see him or have him again to my position. So yeah, I'm just um thankful that my parents, you know. They um they said that they'll they'll watch him you know for those nine months or whatever however long until I gotta move out of here. But yeah man um y'all folks stay tuned bro. If you got a dog man make sure you get a harness. Um uh, please bro do not get just a collar bro. Um I had a harness for him. He actually got a harness for um a sponsorship bro. It just broke and I never got a chance to get around to get it fixed in time. And that this collar right here bro. It broke off, and yeah, bro, it broke off. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it broke off like this, and bro, it just came off his neck yesterday, man. And it happened to come off his neck when it was another dog right down from us, bro. So if that situation would have occurred, bro, CJ never would be having to leave uh, the apartment complex, bro. But I don't know, man. I ain't gonna question that, bro, because everything happened for a reason, bro. Because how the leash popped off, bro, y'all, I mean, how the collar popped off and stuff, bro, it was crazy, bro. I don't even understand, bro. But, I mean, that's what comes with having a dog. Your leash may come off. Your collar may pop off. I don't know, bro. Just make sure you got extra precautions, I guess. Because, bro, you never know what your dog will do. Like, I mean, I know my dog is a friendly dog. I know he don't be tripping for real, but everybody else's dog ain't like my dog, so... If a dog run up on CJ, CJ ain't finna just straight attack it. You know what I'm saying? CJ didn't been ran up on before, like, and he'll just be doing like the little standoff thing with dogs. But, bro, this dog right here, he 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 ain't like CJ, bro. He was a dog that he was reactive. Like once CJ came up on him, bro, he reacted. CJ reacted back, and they they end up fighting, bro. So, yeah, man, every dog ain't like your dog. Every dog don't be nice. And every dog don't want you coming in their personal space, which is I understand. You know, I ain't tripping about that. It's just like, dang, I wish I didn't have to have to take my dog off the property. Like, it was a mistake, bro. Like, if I could change it, I would, but I can't. So I just got to deal with the consequences, which is um, he can't be on the property no longer because it's these people property at the end of the day, bro. Like I said, I signed a lease to be here. Um... And yeah, I can't do nothing, bro. I was paying my rent. I paid his rent, CJ rent. I don't know, bro. They ain't gonna be getting that money no more. I mean, they already done got deposit and everything from me, but still, though, bro. I don't know, man. It's just annoying, though, bro. I'm gonna have to be without my dog, but... Hey, man, I seen the other man walking his dog this morning. He still got his dog. He's still here. Um, <laughs> I think his dog should be definitely um, going away, too, because... I broke the fight up the first time, bro. He let his dog go the second time, and they got back into another fight. And that's when his arm, his arm got injured and stuff. So I mean, his hand. His hand got injured when that happened. So if he would have had control of his dog the second time, it wouldn't have been a problem. But, you know, apartment complexes, they ain't going to go off of the second time. They go off of what happened to start it off in the beginning. So, I mean, I don't know, bro. Even I even had witnesses, bro. And they were saying the same stuff, but it, it don't matter, man. At the end of the day, these people, they don't want they don't want me being here. I mean, they don't want CJ being here because I broke the rule of I didn't have him leashed up. Even if it's accidentally or not, you feel me? It don't matter, but at the end of the day. But like I said, bro, it's not a farewell goodbye. Um, it's just a see you later. 
Cause CJ definitely still my dog. Like he's still here with me. It's just he just ain't gonna be living with me, you know. But well, for right now at least, bruh. Having your animal at your crib is like I don't know. It just make your crib different, you know. And now he gonna be gone. It's kind of like, dang, bro, my boy gonna be gone. Like it's just gonna be me and my girl. But I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just CJ, bro. He be having a life of the party sometimes, bro. He be having his little moments where he be doing funny stuff. He just be cuddling with you, you know, at any time. Um, and just wanting to play sometimes, you know. It's just cool, bro. Having a dog could be real fun, man. But, yeah, man. I got to take him off these premises, man. I don't got that much longer. I mean, I got 24 hours, but I'm going to just go ahead and take him out because there ain't no point of staying here. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I love y'all, man. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Come in if you want to. Let me know if I, I should do any or take any steps, you know. Because y'all may know what to do and what not to do in this situation. Just let me know, man. So, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Next time I pick up the camera, probably when I be back at the crib or at my folks' crib. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned.